Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to upgrade our existing applications to Angular version 10. Now I'm talking about previous uh, versions of Angular which can be ranging from 2 to 9, right? Now, given the fact that these all these versions have undergone a lot of changes that we have seen in the previous episode, which means that there would be some pieces of your application which may not work with the current version. And how do we know about them? And what is the actual blueprint of upgrading our applications to Angular 10? We'll learn all about it in today's episode. Welcome back friends. My name is Sridhar. This is part three of Angular 10 full tutorial series. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this particular series, which will include detailed explanations along with a lot of live and practical hands-on examples. I will be updating the playlist link in the description box. At the same time, I will also be updating the notes and the code for this particular project in the GitHub. So make sure you check out the description box in the going forward tutorials. All right, so like I said, we are in the third episode today where we are going to learn how to upgrade the existing applications to Angular 10. Let's get started. All right, so the let's say that your applications are in Angular version 9, right? This is an ideal use case, right? So let's say that your applications are running on Angular 9 and you want to upgrade to Angular 10. So the command that you would run is ng space update space at the rate angular slash cli at the rate angular slash core. This would bring you to the latest current version, which is angular 10, right? Now remember that if this is will perfectly work if you are moving from angular 9 to angular 10, right? Now pay carefully attention here. I'm only saying this will smoothly work for angular version 9 to angular version 10. But if you are moving from anything previous version, I'll show you in the next slide what to do. But let's say you're also using Angular material in your project. You might want to update that also. So the command you will run is ng update at the rate angular slash material, right? So that's the command you will run to update your Angular material. All right, so this was the use case where you're upgrading your Angular 9 application to Angular 10. But what if you are coming from, let's say, Angular 4 or Angular 6, right? So you will find that a lot of modules have changed and you will find yourself breaking your head as to what to do next. This is what you should be doing. Each and every app is different and unique, okay? First of all. Second, each application will have its own unique style and way of implementation. The architecture may vary. Because that's why it makes it complicated to upgrade and there is no simple straightforward way. However, the team at Angular and Google have put together some checklist that you can follow while upgrading. Let me show you that. So you need to go to update, update.angular.io. That's the URL, update.angular.io. Now, once you go here, you would see the options matching your project. So let's say, for example, you're moving your project from 6 to 10, right? So once you do that, the next thing you do is, see, we do not recommend moving across multiple major versions, right? Because there are a lot of changes that have happened, which will potentially break your production code. Now, then choose the complexity of your application basic, medium, or advanced. Now you would see that I use ng upgrade to combine. I use angular material, right? So you select and say, show me how to update. And then it would give you detailed list of steps you should do before updating and after during the update and after the update, right? So these are all the steps that you have to follow to get your versions in sync and your code to be in sync and make it work smoothly right so ideally i would not encourage or even for that matter google does not encourage you to move across multiple major versions you should do systematic progression like for example if you are on eight then the ideal thing to do is move to nine right 
now you would see that the number of steps would be so let's say if it's medium right you would see that these are minimum the changes will be minimum and similarly once you move to 9 then move to 10 right so you would see that the steps again will be pretty less right I mean the commands will be less only thing is the dependencies will be less that makes it much easy for you to systematically move between different versions don't directly jump between one major version to another right take baby steps move from 6 to 8 from then 8 to 9 9 to 10 that's a systematic way to make sure that your application doesn't bring the whole house down in one go all right so that's um, so go through this which is update.angular.io and you would see that all right and yeah that's about it for today and uh, i will see you in the next episode where we will actually start building our angular 10 journey by installing our first angular application via cli and we'll get started with angular 10 series hands-on application thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episode tomorrow and stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.